What's up everybody, Brian back again with another video on rods and reels and today we are literally going to talk about one brand, one type of rod and that is the Shimano X-Pride. I ran, let's see, it's late in the season right now, it is Black Friday, so I fished an entire summer on these particular Shimano X-Pride rods. I'm going to walk through them, I'm going to talk about them at detail and we're going to start off with two spinning rods that I used all season long. Now, out of all the Shimano x pride rods that I own, I'm starting off with my absolute favorite. If I had to pick one rod in the entire Shimano x pride lineup, this would be the one. This is the 7 foot medium action spinning rod. So this rod doesn't get talked about very much. Everyone's kind of focused on the uh, casting rods, but this rod is phenomenal. I'm a 7 foot medium action spinning rod addict. I've tried basically every rod. I've had NRXs. I currently own a Conquest. I own a Legend X. Um, I own some Mega Bass rods, um, some Daiwa Tatulas. So I own, I've tried basically every kind of seven foot medium action spinning rod from $100 up to $600. And I would put this in my Mount Rushmore. This is one of the best seven foot medium spinning rods I've ever used. It's got an extremely fast tip, but it is soft. So the, the tip shuts off, uh, starts getting into the backbone of the blank at about the one, two, three, four, fifth guide. But this tip is very soft. This is a great rod for skipping um, Sankos. This is my primary dock fishing rod and reel setup all year. I have it paired with a uh, Daiwa Tatula LT3000, the shallow spool, not the deep spool. And together this rod is really, really light. This uh, rod has extremely good sensitivity. I actually would put it up with other rods in the four to $600 price point as far as sensitivity. It's good for Ned rigging. It's really good for throwing um, three to four inch swim baits on like quarter ounce heads or lighter. Obviously a great Senko rod. Um, you could throw jerk baits on this thing, really light balsa baits, uh, like shad wraps. Um, just any kind of finesse presentations, this thing would be fantastic at. I would not use this rod for drop shotting uh, unless you're going like quarter ounce. If you drop shot a little heavier and a little deeper, this would be a great rod. But if you go lighter on your drop shot, like lighter than quarter ounce, I probably would not suggest this rod. I would get something with a little um, lighter action. But this is just the ATV all around amazing finesse spinning rod. If you're gonna buy and spring for one seven foot medium action spinning rod to kind of just run the gamut, this is the one to get. I would choose this rod at like 200 to 250 bucks, about what you can get for them, against any other high end rod. It's that good. So now we're gonna talk about the other spinning rod, which it's a little bit of an enigma. This is the um, six foot 10 inch medium light uh, Shimano x pride spinning rod. There's not a lot of information about this particular model online and I think the world needs to know that this is a completely parabolic soft modern action spinning rod. This rod is so soft. Um, if you notice, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but the, it doesn't get into the backbone of the rod until about here. So this, from, from this guide all the way forward, is all bend. Now, this rod has an extremely soft tip. I would actually say that this rod is, I don't know what they rate this rod, but it's definitely not a fast tip. I would say that this is more of a moderate action rod. This rod is definitely built for drop shotting. They built this, drop, this rod specifically to drop shot. So if you think this is going to be like a little uh, dock sniper, type rod you can skip a Senko and things underneath rod, rod uh, docks and, and that kind of stuff I would say this is probably too light this is definitely not a medium action rod I would say for medium light this is even pretty light I've had a lot of medium light rods and this thing's even softer so if you're a drop shot person and you want a really soft light drop shot rod this is probably what you want to go with it is way slower than the um, NRX 820 822 DSR, the drop shot, the NRX drop shot rod is way faster than this thing. The tip is way stiffer, it's a way stiffer rod, and that thing even feels light. In comparison, this rod is really, really noodly. So I use this all summer as my drop shot rod. I ran it with a 2500 ballistic reel, and if I had to give my honest impression of this thing, I'm probably going to sell it just because of how soft it is. This is a one trick pony rod. If you are a walleye guy and you're into snap jigging, this would be a good rod. If you're a walleye guy and you're into vertical jigging, this would also be a really good rod. And if you're a guy who loves drop shotting with lighter weights, this is a great rod. I like drop shotting a little heavier sometimes, especially if I'm running deeper or I'm drop shotting Texas rig style in the grass. 
this rod is not good for that. I'm just going to be straight up honest. This is a very soft, very light rod. Um, I feel that after using it all year, and I, I ran a lot of quarter ounce um, drop shot weights on this thing, and it was too soft for that. So because I can't really go up in the weight category for drop shotting with this rod comfortably for my taste, I'm probably going to punt this rod along. Did I like using it? Yes, fighting fish on this rod was awesome. I caught some three and four pound fish in a tournament using this rod and I had no problem getting those fish in the boat. I had no uh, worry that these fish were not gonna come in. The bend in the rod is so abrupt and so smooth. When you do hook into a big fish, it's fun to fight. Like fighting a, a, like a three, four pound bass or even a big walleye on this rod is a hoot. It is really fun. Um, but this rod does not, this rod, <laughs> I like it, but I don't love it. I didn't know it was going to be this soft and this light because nobody has any reviews or talks about this rod. And now that I know it, I'm putting it out to the world. The 6 foot, 10 inch, medium light uh, X-Pride is a soft, moderate action, specific drop shot technique rod or vertical like Demiki rigging or snap jigging or kind of walleye-ish. Uh, presentations. You don't want to fish for largemouth in the grass, Texas rigged, with this rod. Um, you're going to get your butt kicked. So I like this rod. I already know what I'm going to replace it with, Mega Bass Whip Snake. So this rod is probably going to be on the market from me very soon. But I did like using it for the year. Now let's move on to the casting rods. Everybody knows about this rod. I ran it for a year. Let me talk about it real quick. This is the 7.2 medium heavy casting rod running with the Corrado K 7 speed. I used this rod for a ton of stuff this year. I used it for swim swim jigs. I used it for 3 8 and half ounce jigs. And I used this thing for dragging football jigs. So I used a lot of 3 8 and half ounce football jigs. And then I also used this for swing heads um, for fishing for smallmouth. This rod is amazing. This is the ATV do everything rod. You want to throw spinner baits, you want to throw buzz baits, you want to uh, Texas rig. There's nothing this rod really can't do. You could even open water frog with this rod, no problem, like an open water popper. Um, this rod is just a do everything. If you had that seven foot medium spinning rod and you have the seven two medium heavy, that these two rods alone can cover so many techniques. So just spend the extra money, get this seven foot, uh, seven two medium heavy, get the seven foot medium spinning, and you can cover like. 30 different techniques. Um, such versatile rods, super light, uh, really fun to fish, um, pretty sensitive. Uh, people say these things are really sensitive. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, on a sensitivity scale, and I've handled, I have an NRX 873, so I've, I've kind of used the top of the spear uh, rods as far as sensitivity. I put this at like a 7.5 to 8. So it's way up there, it's really good. Um, you can find these rods for anywhere from 200 to 250 bucks used. You can get them down around 200. Um, <laughs> awesome rod. Love this thing. Keeping it. This is probably my favorite football head jig rod for like not heavy football jigs. Not talking like three quarter or an ounce, but for lighter football jigs and up shallower like quarter, uh, like quarter, three eighths, or even half. This rod kick butt. Very sensitive. Uh, a lot of fun to lay into fish with this. Great swim jig rod. If you throw quarter ounce or half, uh, half ounce swim jigs, you want that guy. Okay, let's talk about a technique specific rod. Less uh, general purpose. This is the glass. This is the 7.2 um, medium heavy glass. I use this for jackhammers all season. Caught a lot of fish with it. Does everything as advertised. Um, it's got the glass and carbon uh, composite. It's got the composite and glass blend. So it's a 60-40. Um, it's 40% glass at the top. Then it goes into a composite uh, shaft at the base. And this rod's interesting. When you catch fish on this, you feel the thump, 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 thump of the blade on your chatterbaits. And when a fish bites it, it almost feels like you're snagged. Like you're reeling th 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 and you feel nothing and you kind of pull back and, and it, it feels like you got stuck on a, on a, uh, on a, like on a, on a, you got stuck on a branch or in some grass or something. You don't, you don't feel like a thump bite, but you pull back and then all of a sudden you start feeling head shakes and you just keep reeling and then it's really fun. So this rod casts, um, chatterbaits really far because of that 
um, glass technology in the blank. And if you're a spinnerbait, shallow crank and uh, chatterbait aficionado, the 7.2 medium heavy glass is, as advertised, is probably one of the best chatterbait rods, period, on the market. You can't go wrong with this guy. It does a few things pretty well. You can throw shallow cranks, chatterbaits, spinnerbaits. That's probably about it. But very good technique specific rod if you're into spending more money. So the last rod I want to talk about is one that actually broke. <laughs> so this is the um, 7.2 Heavy. So this rod is an interesting rod. I snapped the tip, it was my fault. I did something stupid. I'm completely at fault. I'm gonna send it into Shimano to have it replaced at my expense. However, let's talk about the 7.2 Heavy really quick. Is it a good frog rod? Probably. Do I feel comfortable ripping out like a four or five pound bass out of lily pads way back in the pads with this rod? No, it's not that strong. I would compare this rod to like maybe, it's a little softer than the Mega Bass Perfect Pitch, um, if you throw a lot of half ounce jigs or maybe even three quarter and you want to step it up, this thing is rated to an ounce and a half. So if you're, uh, if you throw heavier jigs, I would go with the 7.2 medium heavy. I'm sorry, the 7.2 heavy right here. Um, I'd say you could throw smaller swim baits like six inch mag drafts. You could fish heavier Texas rigs. This is not a punching rod. The tip on this rod is kind of soft for a heavy, um, so I wouldn't say this is like a full-on close combat heavy rod. I would probably go with the 7.3 extra heavy over this for like straight frogging or straight flipping. But um, honestly, this rod didn't blow me away. Uh, out of all the egg spreads I had, this is probably my least favorite. So, because it wasn't a really great frog rod. It was an okay frog rod. It wasn't really a good flipping rod. It was okay flipping rod. Um, it threw half ounce jigs. But I have other rods that throw half ounce jigs way better, like the Mega Bass FMJ. So this rod just really didn't find a, uh, a niche in my arsenal. So when I send this back into Shimano, I'm probably going to ask them to swap it out. I might just pick up the 7.3 Extra Heavy, which is supposed to be a phenomenal frog rod. So I might actually step up and get the broomstick instead of this guy. So if you're looking at um, x Prides, I would say check this out if you want to throw 6 inch mag drafts, smaller swim baits. If you're a half ounce jig guy, um, and if you want something a little more stout than the 7.2 medium heavy, that's where kind of this thing fills the role. It didn't, uh, it didn't blow my skirt up, so I'm probably going to find something else to replace this with. But. So that's my Shimano reviews. Love the 7 foot uh, medium spinning rod. Love the 7.2 medium heavy casting. Love the 7.2 medium heavy chatterbait rod. Like the 6.10 uh, medium light spinning rod. I'm probably going to punt it out of the collection and sell it. Um, and then I'll update later on with my full arsenal going into the off season because I have made a few changes. Um, so stay tuned for that video later on. Thanks for talking. If you have any questions about Shimano X Prides, you want to ask down in the comments below, I will happily respond to you. Um, but everybody have a, uh, have a great off season.